give in, give up, give off, give out, give away. These phrasal verbs look almost the same, aren't they? Yes, they are. But one thing is for sure, they mean differently. So if you want to know more about these phrasal verbs, then keep on watching. Hello everyone, this is me again, Jonna, and welcome to Online English TV. Today, we will brush up your vocabulary by learning some phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs function as verbs. We will learn the meaning of those phrasal verbs that I presented to you earlier. We will also practice using them in sentences. But before we start, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell. Now let's start with the word given. Given to finally agree to do what someone wants or to stop fighting or arguing. When you given, you didn't like to do it at first, but maybe because of pressure, you've changed your mind and finally agree to do what they want. That's given. Now let's uh, consider the following examples here. Number one, he couldn't resist the peer pressure. He finally gave in. Let's be more specific for you to understand it better. What peer pressure we're talking about here? Let's say smoking. At first, he didn't like to smoke, but because of the peer pressure, he gave in. He finally gave in to smoking. It means he started to smoke too. Example number two. The mother was tired of her daughter's whining. She gave in to what her daughter wanted. Let's be more specific too. Let's make up a situation. Let's say the daughter wanted to eat more candies, but the mother said no. And it started, uh, the daughter started whining. And the mother got tired to it. So she gave in to what her daughter wanted. What does it mean? So she gave in. She gave her daughter more candies. Let's move on to number two phrasal verb, give up. It means to stop making efforts or to stop trying something difficult. When you give up, it means you have already started doing it or doing something. However, you found it difficult and you don't want to make efforts any longer and you don't want to continue anymore. Another meaning of give up is to admit defeat. So when you give up in this sense, you don't like to continue fighting. Mm, that's sad. Okay, anyway, there are some example sentences to using give up. Number one, Mindy gave up her diet too soon. What does it mean? Mindy has already started dieting. However, he found it maybe difficult along the way. So she doesn't like to continue it anymore. So she gave up. Okay, number two. Starting a business is difficult, but I won't give up. Oh, that's really positive. I like this. What does it mean? Uh, even though having a business is difficult, but I don't like to stop making efforts. I would like to continue it. All right, let's move on to phrasal verb number three. Give off. It means to emit or discharge. And another meaning is to produce something. Okay, so let's consider the following examples too, where you can use give off. Number one, some factories gave off thick black smoke. It means some factories emitted or discharged thick black smoke. Example number two, the flowers giving off a soothing fragrance. It means the flower is producing a very nice scent. I guess you understood give off, so let's move on to number four, give out. It means be completely used up or run out. Uh, you can also use this to abstract nouns like courage, motivation, enthusiasm, and a lot more. 
And another meaning of give out is to stop working. All right, you can use that to anything like equipment or something that won't work anymore. In a way, let's consider uh, the examples given in this case. Number one, due to many business failures, his enthusiasm to keep going is giving out. All right, um, it means to say here that his enthusiasm is almost running out or he's losing his enthusiasm. Okay, and we have another example. Example number two is my old bicycle finally gave out. It means my old bicycle stopped working. I need to buy a new one. So we're done with give out. Let's move on to number five, which is the last phrasal verb for today. Give away. To give something freely or as a gift. So if you give something away, it means you give it for free. Another a meaning is to reveal or make known. You could use it for information or details or something like that. Example number one, the shop gave away some groceries to the street children. It means the shop gave groceries to the street children for free. Now example number two is my colleague gave away some information about the meeting. It means to say that my colleague revealed some information or my colleague made some information known to us. I hope that would be clear and actually we're done discussing the five phrasal verbs today. We, we talk about their meanings and also sample sentences. Now let's move on to the final part of the video. Let's have a quiz. This is to check how much you understood about this topic. We had 10 items in here and I'll give you 30 seconds to finish it up. Now let's start. Fill in the blanks with the correct phrasal verbs. If you don't think 30 seconds is enough, you can pause this video. You have